familia, what's up? Tuning in from the Maldives, connecting with you all. Here I am following up on going deep into deeper layers of love, sexual energy, connection. Going deep, oxytocin, the hormone of love, all these good things I want to talk about today. So let me know when you tune in. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'd love to hear from you. I know it's a different time zone I tune into right now, but um, yeah, I'm traveling a lot right now, so the time zones are always changing. I can't step into the same schedule. Hey, what's up, everybody? Amber, Angel, Jordi, Johnida. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Familia from Facebook, Donata, Verena. What's up, Michelle? Good to see you guys. Yeah, very, very grateful. And, uh, and just so you know, today we are in a lunar eclipse, huh? It's a moon, moon blood. Yeah, the, 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 the moon is going to be seen red in certain parts of the world. So um, it's uh, not only something beautiful, but something uh, related to taking decisions for ourselves, really knowing it's the time to, to connect what is the choice of our soul, what is the choice that, that uh, we can make in different areas of our life to go to the next level. It's very important right now. And if we don't, uh, you can that like down spiral and it can take you a long time to recover. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a big shift that's happening right now astrologically. And if you're really tapped into your truth and what feels good, what feels right for you, and this comes from your gut, it's a, it's a gut feeling, right? It's, it's learning to distinguish the mind and that the decisions we make from the mind. Is this good? Is this bad? What do people think? Uh, what are the pros? What are the cons? Right? It's, it's very controlling. It's very rational. Or is it something that feels good in the gut? It just feels good to do this. It feels, ugh, it feels horrible to do that right now. I don't even know why, but let me step back and just uh, observe. Right? So it's learning to tap into that gut feeling that we all have. We all have it, but we've lost it because we've gone a lot into the rationality. What they tell us is good, what they tell us is bad, what society says, what the culture says, what religion says. And, and uh, this may be connected to a truth and maybe not. So it's, it's a good time to listen to yourself, to take some time to stop and just listen to yourself. And this takes us to that inner love. The first step, if you want to attract the partner of your dreams, um, many of you asked me for that, right? I, I asked a question, uh, what would you like uh, me to talk about? And, and I'll be doing this um, more, um, just following up whatever you guys need and, and whoever is the majority uh, votes uh, will go through there. So the majority was about love and about connection and about uh, attracting the, the partner of your dreams and about... Uh, um, um, universal love and, and all these beautiful themes, right? Which I'm putting in there, some oxytocin also, which is the hormone of connection, the hormone of love. And I'll be explaining a little bit about this, yeah? So, so stay there with me, all right? So um, when, 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 um, when we're talking about making decisions from your soul, from your gut, that gut feeling, what feels right for you, right? And it's like, um, if you see that deep inside, that is the most powerful connection to self-love you can have. Why? Because you start listening to you first and what feels right for you. And then what is best for others, right? Because, you know, it's like a, a, a plane is crashing. Like what you do, you put your mask first. You can't help others until you find your own oxygen. You can't help others until you find your own purpose, your own connection. Yeah, your spiritual connection, the best connection to your body, the best connection to your emotions, the best connection to your mindset. Like what makes you thrive? What inspires you? What moves you, right? 
That's self-love. Self-love is not only like, oh, I love myself and I'm going to, you know, look for, for a massage or look at myself in the mirror and, and repeat all the beautiful things. Like, that, of course, that, that helps. But deeper layers of self-love of self -love is self-respect, honoring yourself, listening to yourself. What feels right for you? Oh, I need to sleep right now. This is what feels good for you right now. I don't want to go to the party. That's not my thing right now. But why? But come. But come on. You're going to miss the best party ever. Like, I don't care. My body, my gut says no. And we learn to respect that. Right? And we learn to respect when it says yes. Reading a book. Calling someone. Connecting in nature. Um... um eating certain types of food that feel good for you in the moment. Anything that nurtures you in the moment is self-love. And the more you feel to do that, the more you're connected to yourself, that gives you radiancy. That gives you magnetism. That activates the serotonin in you, which is the feel-good hormone which helps activate the oxytocin, which is the hormone of connection, which starts with yourself, right? Uh, oxytocin is all about touch, right? It's all about touch and connecting with each other and looking at each other's eyes. And, you know, it's activated when, when you have sex on, or when with women uh, give, give, give birth and, and, and the connection between the, 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 the mother and the child. And, and, and there's many ways to activate oxytocin, but it starts with your own connection, connecting to you, feeling yourself, right? That is the first um, uh, connection that we have to this self-love. And the more you start doing that, you start emanating this magnetism. You start emanating this, this radiancy, this like glow that has no explanation. It has nothing to do with uh, if you did a facial or not, or if you went to the gym that day or not. Or it's 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 a glow that a glow that comes from within, right? And the more you connect with this glow, the more you connect with this um, presence, right? Your your it's like your divine presence. You're embodying your soul. You're embodying your essence. You're embodying your truth. There's nothing more powerful, let me know if you feel that or not. There's nothing more powerful than someone that's fully tapped into the truth. Yes, and I'm not talking about go to war because of your truth or, 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 or have a discussion because of your truth and then, you know, create some kind of violence or problem. No, I'm talking about learning to stand in your truth and speak from your truth and saying, Yes, that feels right for me. That feels good. Thank you so much. And also, no, that doesn't feel right for me because boom, 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 boom. Doing it with love. Doing it from a place where I'm not fighting. I'm not reacting. I'm not trying to prove a point. I'm standing in my powerful and silent truth. Huh? Sometimes just a look. Can tell you, right? I don't know if you, you know you you're with a friend or with a partner, and you ask them something, and they just look at you like, and you know, you're like, okay, 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 perfect. I understood. Like you know that look, you know that like, it's like a, an energy that's being emanated by that person that had no words. Okay, and, and this is a point I want to touch right now because many people think that love is just about Fifi Fluffy, I love you so much, you're amazing, peace and love, namaste, om, and, and all that stuff, right? And not necessarily, yes? Um, love, sometimes it's saying no. Love, sometimes it's putting boundaries. Love, sometimes is speaking your truth, raising your voice a little bit, opening your eyes, you know, love sometimes is going to exercise and doing something good for you in the moment. Love sometimes is being in silence. Love sometimes is fasting. You need to fast. You need to stop eating food because you love yourself. Because you know that your body right now doesn't want food. So why should I eat food? Loving yourself means drinking more water. 
right? And, 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 and listening to yourself. There's so many ways to love yourself, but I'm talking about this. So you come out of the box thinking that loving yourself is just about, oh my God, I love you so much. I'm the sweetest ever. You know, sometimes too much sweet. It's like, ugh, right? You know, when you eat too much chocolate cake and it's like, oh, I can't, I can't eat more chocolate cake. I'm like, what's the word in English? In Spanish is empalagao. <laughs> write the word in English because I forgot about it and um, you're kind of like you've had too much right too much sweet and it's like oh no I can't deal with that anymore right that 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 happens also when there's too much sweetness I'm 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 I'm, I'm too soft I'm like in in the guys it's much the pleaser we all like, oh, the pleaser guy, the guy that went from being like the macho, it's all my way to being the other extreme, which is the pleaser. Yes, darling, whatever you want. Yes, darling, whatever you say. Yes, what everybody says is good. And what do I want? What do I feel? What do I stand for? Right? That is the real deal, guys. That is the real love speaking your truth and feeling yourself and being able to transmit that from that space. And the more you do that, the more you're going to be standing in your king, in your queen, the more you're going to be owning your inner kingdom, your inner queendom. What does this mean? The more you stand in the throne, the more you are centered, grounded in the heart, you know, sweet, loving energy, but standing in your truth, the easier it is to attract the person that is ready to vibrate with you in pure love. The person that is ready to meet you wherever you're at. Because I can tell you something, and I can tell you from the, from the perspective of a man. If I am like, oh, the pleasing guy, right? Trying to please all the women and the good guy. Women will love me as their best friend, you know? But they won't be attracted to like the king that speaks his truth. And at the same time, like, okay, I can do it for you. I can support you on this. But this is not um, my truth. This is not what I'm feeling right now. But yes, I can let go of what I want to do. And I can go and, and do what you're wanting to do right now. You see the difference? But it's not just like you, 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 you. I don't matter. I don't count. It's not about me. It's just about you. And the more I put you as priority, the more you're going to love me. No. The more they're going to play with you. The, the easiest you're going to be to manipulate. The easiest it's going to be for you to go and get lost in codependencies. Right? Because there is an emptiness in you that you're not listening to. You're not feeling yourself with love. You're not feeling yourself with universal love. The, the love of God, the love of life, call it whatever you want to call it, universal love. The more you embody that, the more you open to that, the more you are available to that, the more that emanates outside. The more others see that, feel that, and are called to that. And the more you're going to be tapped into so much of this energy that you won't need others' approvals. You won't need someone to tell you, yes, that's right or no, that's wrong. That looks good or no, that doesn't look good. You should be doing this or you should be doing that. You're not dependent anymore on what others say or think. You stand in your truth. And there's nothing more powerful and magnetic than someone standing in the truth peacefully. I call it passionately unattached. Living your life passionately unattached. You are fully in your passion, fully in your purpose, but unattached from it needs to be my way. It needs to be now. Right? That is, that's the ego looking for that. Right? And again, depending on something outside. But once you've found that connection with yourself, with your soul, with the universe, you don't need that approval outside, right? You don't need that uh, um, waiting for, for, for someone to meet you there. You're not going to be lost in envy. You're not going to be lost in judgment. You're not going to be lost in comparison. You're not going to be lost in jealousy. All those parts 
are a reflection of your Manipura chakra, your solar plexus, unbalanced. Yes, there's too much fire in you and there's not enough connection with your heart. The plexus of the chest right here. There's a plexus here that's around the thymus gland. Yes, that's related to the capacity for you to receive love, the capacity for you to open up to freedom, to open up to bliss, to open up to, to compassion, right? But that doesn't happen just through your mind. That's not something you just learn. It's something you can embody. And the more you learn how to tap into the timeless land, the more you learn how to tap into these nervous plexus here, the more that opens for you and the more naturally you tune into that state of love, right? Because it's free love, yes? It's, it's, it's unattached love, yes? It's not controlling from the solar plexus, yeah? You create like a, an umbilical cord, same as we had with our mother, we have in relationships, we create that with our parents, with our friends, with our intimate relationships, right? We create that and then we're attached to each other. We lose ourselves in the other, right? Because we are sharing a channel, a bridge of energy. Yes, instead of what if I would tell you the most, the healthiest relationships are the one where you are standing in your power and you are like a channel of energy flowing through. Your partner or your friend is a channel of energy that's complete, that doesn't need anyone or anything to fill itself up. And then there's a third channel of energy that's the connection between the two people. Yes, so the relationship becomes the third person. How about that? That is unattached love. You're not depending on the person because you stand in your power and your truth. The person stands in their power and their truth. And there's a third person. That's the relationship between both of you. So all we're doing is we are nurturing that relationship as a being, as a baby. It's a relationship we both get to nurture right? You can't force it on someone. You can't just be you nurturing the relationship and the other is not nurturing. You know what I mean? Please, please write down if you understand what I'm talking about, because this, this can be too way out there for some of you. So let me know if you're following up. Let, let me, let me know if you're feeling what I'm talking about and, and, and if you're liking this kind of approach to love and to manifesting the relationship of your dreams, right? This is something I have applied, I would say, the last eight years of my life, guys. Um, after I got divorced, it was very hard for me. I was three years alone and I learned a lot. I learned a lot from my old relationship. And uh, I promised myself, I committed that I would change a lot of things inside of me. My connection with myself, my connection with my soul with the universe, my connection with my purpose, my passion, my love. Okay, everybody's saying totally understandable. I love it. Yes, this is great. Oh, I love the visual of you, that other person and both of you. That's great. Yes, totally. I get it. Totally, totally. Yes, I feel it. I love it. Yes, fully. It's really an ongoing work. Yes, then comes a situation and boom, again, tapped into past trauma. Yes, Julia, that, that what, what happens, but... You, you don't get stuck in past trauma. You don't get stuck in, in your stuff. We all have stuff. You're never going to meet someone that, oh, is the perfect, you know, person out there. They wouldn't be in this life, in this body, if they were perfect, right? That, that doesn't exist. We all are working, uh, you know, a, a constant work of art, right? We're all like going into deeper layers of our connection with our soul and our heart, right? But the difference is when this, parts of the ego come up that is the parts that we don't like that is the parts that we sometimes neglect that is the parts that sometimes we push away right instead of pushing them away instead of running away from those parts we learn to love them we learn to observe them we learn to look at them with compassion for ourselves if we learn to do that for ourselves then when the other person right has the tantrum and has this part that they don't like and we don't like come up 
you can hold them with love. You can hold them with compassion. You're not expecting them to be perfect. You're not expecting you yourself to have a perfect relationship. That doesn't exist. But what exists, it's a connection from the heart. That's not codependent. That's not controlling the other. That's not expecting the other to behave in one or another way. That's completely in freedom, in connection with yourself, loving and respecting yourself so you can love and respect others. Yeah, you get me? And that's why there's a third person. That's that relationship. And I call it a crystal. That's how I see it. It's like a crystal. It's like a living crystal that we nurture. And this crystal can grow and can expand and can glow. Right? Or this, this crystal just can dim. And that's when the relationship dies. Where, because no one is feeding that relationship. Or only one person is feeding that relationship. Right? So these are deeper layers of love. Coming again. Starting with yourself. Listening to your truth. Going deep inside, learning about the nervous system, learning about the nervous plexus of your body, learning to release the nervous plexus of uh, the manipura, right? The, the solar plexus, learning to release the, the nerves that have uh, congested there and have raveled from the past, learning to release that and learning to release these nervous plexus here so you can open yourself and the energy that's usually accumulated in the manipura in the solar plexus will start ascending to the anahata right to the to the to the heart plexus and expanding yourself so it's something physical energetical emotional and 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 mindful that you can do right and this is what i teach in quantum flow if you're in interested to go deeper into this actually we're going to be doing um once a month activations we're going to be doing uh, activations where we're going to go in different themes so the first theme that i chose was love because i see that is where people want to go right now right so we're going to be talking deeply about love and how to activate oxytocin in the body and how to open up the nervous plexus is all going to be focused around empowering yourself and opening yourself to deeper manifestations of love, of freedom, waking up that inner freedom inside, okay? So uh, that's gonna happen really soon. If you want to be part of that and you wanna go deeper and this is something that interests you, yeah, I invite you to come in below with um, monthly activations, monthly activations, and I can share with you what we're gonna be doing. Yeah, so it's more or less what I'm doing now. We go, we talk about a theme, and then we're like, okay, guys, get ready. Let's do the activation. We go through breath. We go through movement. We go through tapping. We go through um, uh, gazing with the eyes. We go through uh, moving your body in, in different ways. We go through uh, 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 activations of kinesiology, of Chinese medicine, of Tantra, of uh, Toltec and Mayan philosophy. We, we do the whole quantum flow method, which is based on all of this based on neuroplasticity quantum science everything that i teach it's all together there okay so this is what we're going to be doing once a month the first one is going to happen really soon so if you're interested please comment below with monthly activations and and this is for people that are committed to going deeper not only listening to this that feels good but that you want to really go deeper into different areas of your life yes so going back to this is simply going deeper into the connection of your body and how to open up to your body so you can love yourself more so you can love your body more so you can love parts of yourself that is hard to love because we don't like them right and once you learn to love those parts of yourself again you start emanating that magnetism all around you it's a magnetism that people can feel and that's how you start attracting, okay? The, the, the intimate relationship you want to attract, okay? And that's the next level of what I wanna talk about. Once you connect it with that self-love, once you connect it with that, with that love that comes, that's beyond you, right? It's beyond you. It's a love that's, that's, that's the love of life, right? You start receiving, pulsating with the love of life, and you start um, emanating the love of life. It flows through you, right? So this love of life 
is what actually attracts the partner, the relationship that you want to attract. Yes, this is quantum science. Once you learn to connect the electricity, which is your thoughts, your thoughts are electric and your heart is magnetic. Right? This is basic quantum science. So once you learn how to do that through your body, you start opening up to the frequency of love. You start connecting, embodying the vibration, the 528 hertz frequency, right? Which is the vibration of love, which is actually the frequency you find in nature. Uh -huh. That's why spending time in nature is so important because nature is vibrating in love. How amazing is that? Nature is vibrating in love. It's the natural state. And it's the natural state that we could all be in. Human beings could live in this natural state of love. But we don't live in love because we get on the way. The ego gets on the way. All the negative thoughts get on the way. All these distortions get on the way because we don't know how to deal with them. Okay, so when you start working with yourself and you start opening up to this love of life and you start opening up to that frequency, what attracts that person is the frequency, is the feeling. I remember feeling constantly doing my quantum flow activation, right? Getting into that flow state and then tapping into, I wasn't uh, uh, visualizing I was going to attract Regan, if you know my partner, my wife. Regan, I wasn't thinking like, I want a blue eye husky from New Zealand with this type of body, with this type of purpose, dressed like this or like that. I used to do that long time ago and it never worked, guys. It never worked. My, my mind was too set on like a little box on how things should be. And I was expecting that. And then I let go of that. But I connected with the feeling. I connected with the vibration. I connected with how am I going to feel with this person? How am I going to feel with the presence of this person? How are, we, how are we going to feel together? What is the vibration we're creating together? Okay? What we talked there before. The relationship is a being, right? So once you connect with that being that you're creating together, 50-50 are creating that being, right? Once you connect to that, you start tapping into that constantly. You enter the flow state, right? That trance state where you're beyond your mind, that trance state when you're not lost in the beta brain waves of focus and doing and stress and all that, you are into the alpha brain waves. Then you go into the theta brain waves and hopefully even into the gamma brain waves, the full blissful brain waves, right? Where you are actually able to reprogram your unconscious mind, reprogram your beliefs of like, oh, I don't deserve that relationship of my dreams. Oh, that's not going to happen. Oh, I, I am just uh, uh, surrounded by drama and all the people I've had before are full of drama. Oh, no, that perfect partner doesn't exist. Oh, no, I don't want to suffer. You know, all these are suffering patterns. All these are limiting beliefs that we have allowed ourselves to say yes to them. But you can shift them, not only in your mindset, but you can shift them in your nervous system. You can shift that kind of protection mode that is constantly in survival mode because they're going to hurt me, right? And once you shift that, you start emanating this love that's actually vibrating through you. It's flowing through you. And instead of emanating out there, I have fear of being hurt. What is that going to attract? People that are going to come and hurt you. People that are going to come and create drama in your life. There are people that are going to come and, 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 and touch those wounds that you haven't seen for yourself, right? So you can wake up to them and see them. That's how life works. That's how we attract each other so we can keep evolving and ascending, right? And the more triggers you have, the more you're going to be attracting people that go and touch those triggers. The more you're working on those triggers and you're letting them go and you're upgrading yourself and you're learning how to deal with them, the more you're going to be attracting someone that's in the same level, right? And then you meet in that frequency, in that vibration where you don't get lost in drama. I promise you, I haven't had one drama in six years being together with Regan. One drama, nothing. 
with my ex-partner, um, I could say the first three months, the first two months, there wasn't a drama, and then our life became a drama. And we both got lost into it, right? Both. And then I kept attracting the same dramatic relationships with different faces until I had to stop and say, hey, okay, I really want to deal with my trauma, with my own stuff that I'm carrying, that I keep attracting the same people in the same way, right? <laughs> okay, there must be something in me because it's the same thing, you know, dressed in a different way. So let me change that. Let me change inside of me. Yes, let me know if you feel that when I say it's not about the other, but it's really about us. Yeah, share with me if you're acknowledging that. If you're humble enough to say, yes, if I keep repeating the same patterns with someone, maybe I have to, I have something to do in the story. It's not only about the other person. You, 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 you. And, and, and what about if I change that finger to here and I start looking at myself, right? Uh, it's good, right? It's, it's good because it burns your ego. It melts your ego. So, yeah seeing a lot of yeses beautiful yes i know that so well yes i believe that so much healthier yes completely yes of course yes it's all about us exactly yes exactly right and the more you accept it look at how many people are accepting it guys once you accept it once you see that then you can change it if you if you don't accept it if you don't see it You'll never change it. You always live in that blind spot. Oh, no, not me. Oh, no, it's about the other. Oh, no, because you, because you, because you. And how can I change? What can I upgrade? How can I be better? How can I release that triggers me? Because if something touches you guys, it's not the other person. I used to say that. Like, why are you talking to me like that? Why do you say those things if you know that hurts me? Why? And then I'm like... Okay, let me express that in a different way. When you speak in that way, this is what I feel. When you tell me those things, this is what I feel. So I started changing my way of communication, talking more of about this is how I feel when you do that, when you say that, when you react like that. This is how I feel, just so you know. You see, instead of like, you make me feel like that. You just said that and that touched me. You are the guilty one of me feeling bad, right? And I'm the victim, right? I used to live that a long, long time, you know? And that was what created a lot of drama in my life. But as I was saying, once I got out of that relationship and I accepted that I had to make the change and I started doing the change, guys, I can tell you, magic started happening in all my relationships. Until I met, met Regan, the love of my life, I can't ask for anything else from a woman, really, or from a relationship. It's really the relationship of my dreams. And I'm not telling you to like, oh, you know, convince you of something. Or No, it is possible. It is real. It's not perfect, but we talk things. We share from the heart. We own our own responsibility of what we're feeling and what's going on. We listen to each other. We respect each other. We're there for each other. We support each other. We see each other's stuff too, with love, with compassion, right? We've created that connection, right? But because we are aligned to the frequency of love, we constantly ask ourselves, what would love do right now? Remember that. Even if you don't have an intimate relationship, wherever you're at, what would love do right now? How would love act right now? How would love feel right now if i could embody love fully how would love be right now it's a great question guys mm -hmm. that's something that really helped me too how would love act how would love respond it takes me some time to back off a little bit and breathe and, and connect to my heart and connect to myself and then speak my truth from a place of love yes so it's, it's, it's little nuggets I want to share with you guys because I feel many times we get lost in the games of the ego. Many times we get lost in judgment. We get lost in comparison. We get lost in all these low vibration emotions that there's nothing wrong with them. They're part of humanity. But do you like to live there? 
Do you feel good living in that vibration? Or do you realize you can choose to let go of that? Or do you realize you can choose to live in a different way? It's a choice. It's a choice we make every day, with every breath, with every thought, with every emotion. You're like cultivating your inner garden, right? We have like an inner garden inside. And every positive thought, every positive emotion, Every time you listen to yourself, every time you follow your truth, every time you speak your truth, you're nurturing that inner garden. And your inner garden starts expanding and starts, you know, vibrating with all these different colors and all these different essences and all these different flavors. And it is, becomes the most beautiful garden, right? Be the most beautiful garden you can be. Own that. Be that. You deserve it. That's who you are. You hear me saying it all the time. If you're an avocado tree, give the best avocados you can. If you're an orange tree, give the best orange trees, orange fruits you can. What does this mean? Love yourself for who you are and be the best version of yourself. Cultivate yourself in the most beautiful ways so you can emanate that love, emanate that energy and start attracting the most amazing relationships and start attracting the partner of your dream, that intimate relationship that you dream to have. Maybe that, that yeah, you have a partner right now or maybe you want to attract that partner. It's all that inner work, that inner alchemy, guys. So this is what I wanted to share with you. For me, the most important points, instead of giving you a strategy on how to attract and how to dress when you're going to go out, everything is a result of your inner love. The more you love yourself, the more you want to dress well, you want to look nice, you want to feel good, you want to, you know, be in a good place inside, the way you speak, the, the, your posture, the way you look at people, the way you hug, the way you are. It's a state of being, right? And from that state of being, you connect with the doing. Many people get lost in the doing. It's a state of being. It's the beingness of love. <laughs> All right? And yes, on our next and first activation we're going to be doing uh, this month together, we're actually going to be connecting in Zoom and going on to this theme of love, deeper layers of what I talked today. Um, and we're going to do an activation, opening up the plexus of the heart, which takes some time, you know. I want to teach you now something that you can do right now, but it takes some time. It's a whole preparation. It's a, it's a one-hour uh, journey I'm going to take you because you got to build it up. You work with the different nervous plexus in the body. you got to open up that sexual energy. It's very important. The sexual energy is not only to have sex. Your sexual energy is that energy of life. We call it kundalini energy. It's the energy of, of, of life flowing through you. Right? It's life energy. The more kundalini energy is flowing through you, the more alive and awake you are, the more you emanate that energy outside of you. Right? And you can cultivate this sexual energy. Yes? And it's the sexual energy that uh, gives you life, that connects you with your purpose, that, 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 that guides you, that makes you feel good right makes you feel alive and awake so this is something i'll be sharing here like how to cultivate this sexual energy inside of you working with the inner muscles the pubococcygeus muscle right the pelvic floor working with the navel yes and working with the different nervous plexus in the body so it doesn't matter if uh, the this, this spiritual path of energy is something woo-woo for you or not, or you haven't experienced it before. It's not about something you believe in. It's about fi following the quantum biology, right, that works in the body. It's quantum science applied in your body, learning how that works, understanding it, and then following the process. And it works for everyone. If you're a human being, it works for you. If you have a nervous system, it's going to work for you. Because all we're going to be doing is tapping into your nervous system so you can embody more energy. Because you can embody more love. So you can live more in love. So you can live more in compassion. So you can judge less, compare yourself less, 
envy less and actually love more, embody more love. How does that sound? <laughs> so if you're interested in joining, just comment below with monthly activation and I will send you um, the, the information. There's already a bunch of amazing people that have joined and we're going to go super deep on this. Before I leave, I got to go uh, for dinner. My wife and, and her parents are waiting for me. Um, so I want to share with you guys a little exercise you can do to actually tap into the timers. And I've shared this before, but there's a lot of new people I see here that I want to share with you. Okay. So this is very simple. You first breathe deep and then you exhale. The ah helps you release tension, stress in your body. Yes. You breathe deep, bring your shoulders back and open your chest and then exhale and bring your shoulders a little forward and just relax, chin forward, yes? Inhale, open your chest, shoulders back, raise your chin a little bit, and then exhale. So here you're starting to wake up the nervous plexus that we talked about, yes? Very simple. Breath, breathing through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Remember the sound, hey? Breath is life. Breath is the deepest technology that we have to rewire our nervous system. That's why I use it all the time. And there's so many techniques you can be using. Yes, keep doing this. Three more. One more. Inhale, shoulders back, relax, bring your navel in very gently, don't force it, just very gently navel in and tap in the center of your chest, right there in the thymus gland. Hold it right there, relax, relax your face, relax your jaw, tap it in right there, wake it up, wake it up. And then exhale, just feel. And repeat inside of you, I am love, I am love, I am love. And allow yourself to feel the gratitude of being love, of embodying love, of embodying the 528 frequency that is your natural state, is the vibration of nature. It's the vibration we can activate at a cellular level. Take a deep breath, hold it, now sip it in through your mouth like this. You feel your chest expanding, relax. There's no tension, activate again. Allow the space between your ribs to open. Open your eyes, open yourself, wake up that energy inside of you. Feel good. Relax, there's no forcing, relax your jaw, relax your neck so the energy flows all the way up into your head and then exhale. Just feel again, I am love. I embody love. Love is my natural state. Yes. 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 Mm. One more. Ready? Deep inhalation. Sip it in. Feel your whole body expanding, your capacity to receive expanding, your capacity to hold energy expanding. And now wake up, the thymus gland goes right into your nervous plexus of the heart, right? This is pure science, guys. And you're also working on your immunologic system, which is reflected by your thymus gland right there. And it feels amazing, right? Hold it. Hold it. And then exhale. Ah. Just repeat, I am love. I embody love. Love is my natural state. Feel it. Feel the gratitude of vibrating in love. Feel the gratitude. Being able to attract, to magnetize an intimate relationship. The relationship that you deserve. The depth that you're craving, that you're desiring, capacity to open yourself, 
to the full potential of love and to live life from your heart and to share that life with someone you can love so much and be so deep, so intimate, so loving, someone you can trust and feel safe with. Feel that. How does that feel? Can you be grateful for that? Breathe into that. And then feel that love emanating to all your relationships, to your family, to your friends, to all the people that you already love. Allow that love to expand more. And so it is. Beautiful and gently coming back. Simple, easy. That was, I think, five minutes. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Would love to hear from you. How are you feeling? Comment below. How is this for you? Simple breath, simple movement, simple mindset. I love simplicity, you know. I love uniting the most advanced quantum science with simplicity. So good to have activation with you, especially right now during the full moon. Yes, we are connecting with the full moon eclipse, guys. As I said at the beginning, the full moon eclipse is about making the decisions, the choices from your soul. It's about really choosing. This is how I live my life. This is who I am. This is what I'm attracting. This is what I'm manifesting. Now it's a time, guys, where... Or you go down and spiral and keep repeating the same patterns for a while. It's going to take a while, you know. Or now you take this leap, this quantum leap, we call it, where you open up to the next level, where you nurture your highest self, where you nurture that connection to your soul, where you nurture your inner truth. Yes, it's a choice, guys. Yes. Pure gratitude, thank you so much. Very loving, simple breathing, but very efficient. I feel it in my pineal gland also. Yes, awesome, just what I needed. Amazing, feeling so good, so beautiful. Filled with gratitude and new appreciation for the love that is already in me. Determined to live that way, expand it. Thank you, beautiful. If you're just watching the replay also, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Let me know how you're feeling, okay? I would love to hear from you. Please share this. If you're in Facebook, please share this with your friends. It would be great to be able to share this connection with love, with oxytocin, with sexual energy, so people understand a little more how everything works and how we can upgrade our life through love, right? So I'll be really grateful if you can share this with, with your tribe, if you can tag someone you know that you know can, can love this, can help them in any way. And uh, for the Instagram, I would uh, recommend you if you want to uh, know more about the monthly activations where we'll be doing all of this and, and going very deep on this. This was just a little taste, right? But we're going to go super deep on rewiring ourselves and upgrading every area of our life. So if you want to do that, um, wait till I post this because when I post this, comment below with the monthly activation and I will send you the details so you can have the details. And, and see if it feels right for you, all right? Okay, familia, so very grateful to share this space with you. So thank you for showing up, even if you're watching the replay. Thank you for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I love the vortex we create together. I love how you show up. I love seeing your comments. I really love uh, how you guys uh, support this connection between us. It feels really good, so I'm really grateful for that. Thank you for saying yes to love. Thank you for saying yes to life. Thank you for saying yes to a different way of living life where love is the one that guides humanity. Yes? All right, familia. Mucho amor. And uh, we'll see you soon.